So we've got our function tangent of x, its inverse arc tangent of x, and we're going to use our inverse function formula here to find the derivative. So the derivative of the arc tangent is 1 over the derivative of the tangent, which is secant squared, with the arc tan plugged in. Next, remember, an inverse function is an angle. An arc is an angle in basic trigonometry. So I can rewrite this middle part here. Instead of saying the arc tan of x equals theta, I can say the tangent of theta is equal to x, and I can use that to draw a picture. That will help me figure out what the secant is. So right triangle. Here's my theta, standard position. And tangent is opposite over adjacent, so I could view that as x over 1. So that's going to be an x, and that's going to be a 1. And Pythagorean theorem over here tells me that if I square the legs of this right triangle, add them up, so 1 squared is 1 plus x squared, and then take the square root of that, that's got to be the other side. So this is based on the Pythagorean theorem. Now, again, what is the arc tangent? The arc tangent is theta. So another way to write what I have here is 1 over the secant squared of theta. All right, what is secant? Well, secant is the inverse of, of cosine. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so secant is hypotenuse over adjacent. So on this picture right here, the secant of theta is equal to the square root of 1 plus x squared over 1, or simply just that square root there. If I square that, which I'm doing here, I get rid of the square root. So this must be 1 over 1 plus x squared. And it turns out that is the derivative of the arctan. All right, so uh, I do expect you to recall that you did this kind of thing in trig once upon a time, but I felt it necessary to jog your memory on how to do it. So you definitely want to practice doing this at least once on your own.